Hello, my name is Juan Park and this is an introduction video to my new series called Computer Music Practice Examples and in this video um, I'm going to give you a little explanation on what I'm going to cover and uh, how I'm going to do it and also uh, give a little snippets on what's going to be coming in the uh, next few series. So first of all, everything will be uploaded and updated in this website, juonpark.net slash cmpe. So, what is this? Uh, it is a, a series of interactive lectures on a creative process of computer music. Basically, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you uh, an example music and I'm going to analyze it. So each entry shows a complete piece and I'm going to show you uh, basically from start to the end how I uh, uh, the, the creative process that I go through uh, when I make music with the computer and each entry has an analysis of codes scores and step-by-step -step procedures so uh, basically it's a uh, an example of a computer musicianship uh, for me the uh, computer music practice is three parts uh, you make music, you compose, and you perform and present the music, but also, unlike other uh, instrumental music or uh, genre, I think computer music also uh, entails instrument design. So for me, uh, when, we, when I create music uh, using computer, I consider composition, performance, and instrument design as an equal parts and I think the best way to um, learn about computer musicianship is to show this all three sides as a, uh, as a one thing and something that I'm going to focus on is give you lots of details on those procedures um, I see that many uh, uh, available um, instruction materials gives you a kind of a generic a general view of how to the composition or how to perform it or how to design an instrument but um, I think what I can contribute uh, is give you details and uh, show you exactly how it's done on my uh, uh, on, on, on my own practice of making and presenting uh, music that's mainly made with the computers uh, so in a sense, I am basically following the uh, my, my 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 former teacher's uh, uh, advice. Um, in his book, uh, Richard Boulanger uh, um, says this sentence: "Turn your C sound into C music." In the introduction chapter of a uh, a book that teaches a tool called C sound. And he emphasizes on this making a tool, using a tool into music. So uh, what I'm going to do is uh, uh, one way to sh um, use a uh, tool, which is the computer, to not only to create a sound, not only to just um, um, test a, an idea, but turning those idea and the tool into a, a, a music. So therefore, um, the practice, practice meaning, oops, sorry, practice meaning uh, using a theory and idea and apply that into a, uh, 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 um, to make a concrete things. Okay, so a uh, couple of things before I actually begin um, giving a series. Uh, I, my main goal, uh, my main audience are composers, performers, technologists, and researchers who uses the electronics as their main main uh, tool. Um, for those who seek examples on the music musical applications of theories and ideas of music technology, uh, are the uh, people that uh, I think will benefit most uh, by watching and uh, reading uh, what's to come. Now I also wanna uh, let you know in advance that this is not a, a tutorial for the tool that I'm going to use, which is a super collider, but also this is not a, a comprehensive um, 
uh, overview of the history or the theory of electronic music. Uh, it is quite specific to my uh, practice of electronic music because uh, I don't know, it's, I can explain what I do and I remember what I did and the, uh, I think uh, giving a, uh, as much as detail as possible on my practice uh, is what I can contribute to the uh, field and I know that um, I, I well at least I learn the most uh, from other people when they show their own way of using the tool or the technology uh, rather than just giving a kind of a general overview of, oh hey, hey this is how it's done in the industry okay so the examples that I'm going to use are my pieces specifically actually written for this project. Okay, so uh, if you are interested in following, uh, you will need to have an access to uh, three tools in here, all are in software. First, uh, every session will have a Google Slides like this one that I'm using. And this is my main quote unquote textbook. Um, a lot of examples. You will be uploaded in here, and there's going to be a lot of heavy emphasis on diagrams. And uh, every Google slide will show a step-by-step -step procedure on how I create the uh, instruments and how I create the uh, um, performance system. And also, the main tool uh, is, uh, in terms of the software, audio software, will be a SuperQuieter. It's a free program you can download and use. And there will be examples that you can use and run along with every entry. Um, so there will be a link to the SCD files that you can open up the Super Collider. And uh, you basically go back and forth between Google Slides and a Super Collider example um, to understand and follow uh, what I'm going to uh, show you. And just like the way you watch it, uh, I'm going to try to explain as much as I can uh, using uh, platforms like YouTube but um, consider, I would say, consider Google Slides as your main uh, textbook and Super Collider as your, your main tool to learn concept. And YouTube is, uh, as a quick reference, um, as a, something that you can just listen to and watch it uh, uh, to get the uh, kind of uh, overview of the things that I'm going to talk about. And if you have any questions, uh, email me, comment on the uh, comment on the uh, video, uh, and I th I I'll, I'll be happy to answer your questions and comments. Okay. Now the main form of uh, communication uh, in uh, in this tool is diagrams. I'm gonna give you lots of drawings, mm. and basically my YouTube video will be explain what I mean by when I write something like this and when I write something like this and when I make things like this. So uh, that will be our next video.